Hi, and welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and we are going to talk about how to render using the command prompt. I've created a project called Primitives. If I open this up, you'll see all these subfolders. There's our scene subfolder, and inside there we have three files that I created. I created a file called Cylinder, which is nothing but a primitive cylinder. This one has a primitive sphere in it, and this has a primitive square. Nothing fancy. Close this out. I'm going to start off by going to uh, the start menu. Over here in the left hand or the right hand column, you might see run. If you see that, open that up. You'll see a dialog box. If you don't have that, then just go down here to this search field. And whether you're in run or this search field, just type in CMD, short for command. Hit enter, and it will open up this command prompt. All right, right now, immediately, you'll see a path. So right now it's looking at my C directory, users, fresh Maya. What we're going to do is we want to change this path to where our files are located. So over here in our primitives project folder, I'm going to open this up. Here's our scene subfolder, I'm open that up. And here is our files. I'm going to just right click on a file. So let's say we want to render out this square. I'm going to right click on it, select properties. And what that does, that allows me to see where the location of that file is. All right, so now we want to change the directory inside this command prompt here. So I'm going to type in CD for change directory, and then I'm going to type in exactly what I see right here on this location. Okay, and I'll put a space after CD. I'm going to type in C colon forward slash users forward slash fresh space maya forward slash desktop forward slash primitives forward slash sce scenes all right so now i've got cd to change my directory a space and then i've got the location exactly as it appears right here and now i'm just going to press the enter button and it takes me to that folder so now if you look at the path it's going directly to our scenes subfolder, which is where our files are located. Now, if you want to make sure that you're in the right place, you can type in DIR for directory, and it will show you everything that's inside this path. And there's our three files right there, cylinder, sphere, and square. Now, pay attention to what they're named. It's not just named cylinder, but it's named cylinder.mb. So you have to know that file extension. All right, to render one of those out, all you have to do is use the command render, R-E-N-D-E-R, -E -E space, and then the name of the file. So if we wanted to render out the square, S-Q-U-A-R-E dot M-B. So basically we're telling it to render that file. So when I hit enter, I already know it's not going to work, but I'll talk, about, I'll talk about that in a second. So I'm just going to hit enter. You can see it's already starting the Maya batch program which is separate from Maya, that's, that's why if you don't have Maya open when you render, you're using less resources you know, of your computer. If you have Maya open, then you're actually using more processing power uh, of your computer trying to render that out. So you can have less chance of your files crashing when you're trying to render something out just by having Maya closed. And it should render your scenes out even faster with Maya closed. Okay, so you can see here we've got an error, file not found error cannot load scene square.mb so even though our file is in there it can't find it it's not recognizing it so what we want to do is we want to open up Maya and inside Maya we want to make sure that the current project is set to the project our files are in so our files are in this primitives project so what we want to do is inside Maya because if I go to right now if I go file uh, open scene you can see that our files are not there. So let's go to the file, down to project, set, and we want to set our project, at least mine's on my desktop, and there's the primitives, there's our project right there, or at least mine. Click OK. So now if I go to file, open scene, now we can see our three files there. So now we know that our project is set to our primitives project. It's kind of confusing, but hopefully that makes sense to you. So we can close this out now, and let's try to re-render this. So 
capital R E N D E R, so render space S Q U A R E dot M B. It started the Maya batch program and it looks like it rendered out that time. It even tells you the resource usages. So let's go ahead and look in our subfolder now. Our images, because the default location for these renderings are going to be put in our images subfolder. So let's just open that up, and there it is. Open that up. There's our square render that we just rendered out without even opening Maya. Alright, let's say we want to render out the, the sphere. Let's say we want to render out the sphere. So we can go in here into our command prompt, type in render s p h e r e dot m b. So render and then the file name. And now you'll see it pop up over here in our images subfolder when it renders out. Alright, there it is. There's our sphere. So that's how you render using the command prompt. So just make sure you're in the right directory, the right location, and then just type in render with a capital R, space, and then your file name with the extension. Okay, let's say we wanted to render out more than one file at a time. Let's say we wanted to render out all three of these. So let me just go ahead and delete these images, these renderings. Let's say we wanted to render out all three of these. There's another way we can do it. I'll show you just by rendering out one, and then we'll do it rendering out three. Okay, this command prompt, I'm going to go ahead and leave open. I'm just going to minimize it. And I'm going to open up Notepad. And inside Notepad, I'm going to type in the same thing. Render, and let's say this time I wanted to render out the cylinder. So I'm going to type in cylinder.mb. Because there we need the whole file name with the extension. I'm going to save this. File, save as. And I want to save this file in the same location where our files are that we're going to be rendering. So I'm going to go to my desktop. There's our project folder, scene subfolder. Okay, we can't see them in there. Uh, if you want to see them, you can change this to all files. And that way you can be sure that you're in the right location. But you're going to save this as some name. And please don't use a command name that would be, a, don't use a name that would be a command inside this, uh, this command prompt. So like render was a command. So we don't want to use that. So let's change it to something other, something other than that. I'm just going to type in Oh, there it goes. Primitives render. I would say primitive renders. Dot bat. You have to save it as a dot bat file. It's the batch file. And then I click save. All right, so there it is over here. So now all we have to do is just open this file or just double click it, and it will automatically run that command. So there it is. It opens up another command prompt window. It's already started to buy a batch, and it just rendered it out, and there's our cylinder. So you can do it inside the command prompt, or you can just create a notepad. Let me just right click, choose edit. Not open, because if I choose open, it'll run it. So you choose edit. And all we did was instead of typing the command prompt, we typed it in here. And we saved that as a .bat file, which is a Windows batch file. And now, as long as it's in the same location, the same path that our files are in, it will execute and render those out.